The Best of the Web is brought to you by MCI1. Life just got simpler. Attention art lovers, we're going to explore some of the hippest art exhibits on the net in our picks for this week's Best of the Web. First, we visit the Banned Books as Art website. Here you'll find an exhibit detailing books that have been censored over the years for political and cultural reasons. Created by Michigan artist Sharon Wysocki, join her on tour through some of the classics from Alice in Wonderland to Of Mice and Men. You'll also get a brief history of why these books were once forbidden. And we continue our artistic exploration at the Museum of International Folk Art. This site offers exhibits on all kinds of folk art from Spanish colonial to contemporary Southwestern. Go ahead and peruse hundreds of objects at this virtual museum. But most noteworthy is the recycled art exhibit. See how artists turn junkyard scraps into American folk art. But if your art tastes lean towards the digital flavor, then check out Diane Fenster's work on the web. This site is a playground for all kinds of digital experimentations. Click over to the web gallery, where you'll find exhibits on everything from the human body to a study of reality and existence. For more Best of the Web, hop on to CNET.com. This week's feature also includes two more sites for art lovers. Gina, thanks once again. You know, a few months ago, most of us heard of this new technology called CE, which was supposed to put windows into a palm top device. The early versions didn't sell so well. Now there's a next generation, and from CNET Labs, Desmond Crisis is here with the Hewlett Packard version. Yeah, this is the 320LX, and Hewlett Packard made the 100 and the 200, which were real PCs in little boxes. This one's a CE device, but it'll do a lot of really cool things. I have to say, it looks and feels on that screen just like a Windows 95 desktop. And that's the intention. It also talks to your Windows 95 desktop. You just dock it, it starts a connection, and looks just like any other network connection on your Windows network. You just pop it in, nothing special. Now, what about trading files? How do you get them back and it's forth? It's simple. You just drag and drop it into what they call the handheld PC Explorer. It's a new Windows CE thing. Drag and drop. You put whatever you need in there. It also comes with Pocket Word, Pocket Excel. You can read all your documents on it, and you can even surf the Internet. Looks like they have a winner this time. Now, how much is it going to cost? The luxury version of the 320LX, which has got a backlight, 4 megs of memory, and a great software bundle. That one's $699, but they have a value model, which is called the 300. It's only about $499. You've used a couple of other similar machines called the Scion and the Pilot. How does this compare? Well, I really like the Scion because it had uh, custom software applications, lots of shareware you could download, and felt like a computer. Then it broke, and I had to get a Pilot, and I like the way that it talked to my own computer. Now it looks like I'm going to be able to have both. The best of both worlds with the HP. Of course, more information is available at CNET.com. Desmond, thanks once again. Thank you. See you. doing that. You know, is Monopoly great. is my game. Oh, come on, you don't have a clue. Oh, he didn't say that. <laughs> you know, the thrill and fun of these classic board games have finally come to your computer. Yeah, they've added high-end graphics that dazzle the eye along with multiplayer features. So you can now play over the internet. Yeah, sure, but is porting a board game to a computer a good idea? Some critics argue that the computer eliminates many of the social aspects of the game, while other people say a computer adds a new dimension. Yeah, friend. This was once the only way to play a game of Monopoly. Rolling the dice, moving the pieces, bankrupting your best friend. No, 70, 71. 72. 73. 74. 75. Well, now you can conquer the world digitally as popular board games roll onto the PC. There's a real void in the market for familiar kinds of games that people know. Board game king Hasbro, maker of games like Scrabble and Monopoly, are bringing all of your favorites to life. There's Yahtzee, Risk, Sorry, even Mastermind and Clue. Do you think the murder took place in the ballroom? And these high-tech board games offer something more than just good old nostalgia. In addition to multimedia-enriched graphics, you can now sink your buddy's battleship or break the bank in Monopoly all over the internet. Up until now, when you wanted to play a game Monopoly, you have to gather a group of people. And now you don't have to wait for your friends to come over. You can just play the game. But it's that loss of close contact and social interaction that have some pundits worried. I think a lot of people may miss the feel of the dice in their hands and the actual pieces that they're manipulating. Um, I mean, that's one of the things I miss. There's something also very uh, quaint about sitting down with your friends and playing a board game. 
It's easy to feel that way about it, but what they have to remember is times are changing and things are changing and there's mediums available to us that weren't available 60 years ago. But stand by Siadecki and the folks at Mindscape may have the answer. They're combining the old with the new by developing an online version of chess that provides the touch and feel of the original game, along with the technological advancements for computer play. We found that there are a lot of people who prefer to touch the piece, to feel their moves. Uh, other people are more comfortable with using the mouse. This just allows you to choose whichever way you feel is best for you to play the game. And it's playing the game that ultimately matters. According to Game Center's Jones, these board game adaptations for the PC are worthwhile, but only if there's an enhanced experience for the gamer. I don't think you want to port every single board game over to the PC. There's a lot of shovelware out there right now. Some of these games work out and some don't. Some are perfectly suited for PC play and some are horribly suited for PC play. Hasbro and Mindscape are quick to point out they're not trying to replace the original board games with a digital experience. They are, however, trying to make these games keep up with the changing times and offer something fun and familiar to the game enthusiast. Hey, it seems to be working. Sure is. Hasbro is projecting it'll sell a million copies of Monopoly by August, which is only a year and a half since it first hit the market, while Mindscape says more than 70,000 users have already logged on to their Chessmaster website to play chess. Now, if you want to find out which board games CNET liked and didn't like, head over to GameCenter.com. There you'll find reviews of most of these games. And when you're through learning all there is to know at Game Center, come to our award-winning website, CNET.com. It's the source for information about computers. This week we'll show you how to get your own home page online or if you're really ambitious how to post a whole site. Plus find out how to hold a virtual meeting with our review of internet conferencing tools. Well that's CNET Central for this week. Thanks for tuning in and logging on. By the way it was Colonel Mustard. It was, it was